Hi, we're Beth and Brian, a couple of Americans that retired early and bought an abandoned farm in the Sicilian countryside. We hope you'll join us as we meet our neighbors, fix up the house, and explore this absolutely beautiful island. I'm Unini. All right. Hey. Morning. Hi. It's morning time. We're used to doing these in the evening, but it's been kind of nice doing so, it in the morning. Yeah, it's nice to... Get it's nice and, to do it first thing in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Got our iced coffee. Yeah. It's good. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, month of August in Sicily. Holy smokes. There is stuff happening yeah. every day. Yeah, every day. It's great. It is good. So Tiring. Get, <laughs> because they have a different schedule. They don't do anything in the afternoon. No. Afternoon, forget about it. Well, it's too hot. Yeah. I mean, it's 100 degrees. Right. You know, 40 degrees. Uh, but everything happens late at night. We're still adjusting to that, really. Get in there. Yeah. But we've definitely had to kind of reel it back in a little bit, yeah. you know, so we've kind of been picking and choosing, but we did uh, discover that not all festivals are fabulous. So a couple of you had mentioned that you were looking forward to our report on the, on the food, on the, the street food, festival. yeah, the street food festival we went to and I'm not going to say the town. I just don't want to say the no. town. So it was, it was written up as being an Arantini festival. Yeah, with some street food some kind street of thrown food. in. Right. And so we got there, and we got there a little bit early, like we always do. And there were a few people uh, there. Yeah. And we just wanted to try a little bit of everything, right? Street food. So we didn't want to fill up on any one thing. And we went... <laughs> so they have the... Obviously, the center of attention was the big Arantini tent. Yes. And there was a massive tent set up and Huge. lots of food and people... And um, we just wanted to buy one. We wanted to try the typical ragu arancini, arancino. To compare it to the ones that yeah. we love in Palo Alto. Yeah, and we didn't want to fill up. Right. So we got in line. You had to buy four of them. Uh -huh. You had to buy the, the we, package. You just, you yeah. Four arancini and then a bottle of water. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't finish a single one. We didn't. Like Beth said, uh, there's going to be a lot of fat ducks tonight. It was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, they just weren't very good. I think they used old oil, and they just tasted awful. Even the fillings weren't that good. It was just off. Yeah, there was one with mortadella, and there was a ragu one, and there was, what else was there? I can't uh, remember. There was, there was a pistachio one. Yeah. Is it just none of them. None of them. No. Hit, none of them hit the notes right. So then we had that, and you're like, oh. <laughs> anyway, so all right, let's take a look around. And... Uh, they had two Mexican stands, they right? They had one guy selling tacos, and the tacos were like, they're like the things you get out of the kit, you know, Paso kit. Yeah, Paso except for the fact that they had like, the, <laughs> so they had the hamburger, and then they had like a cream sauce. Yeah. No salsa. No. And then they had, they had cheese, but it was like, Big, thick, heavy, grated mozzarella cheese. Yeah. And growing up, like not growing up, but like living in Portland, Oregon for as long as we did, it, we were spoiled. We were spoiled. So it was a little bit. And the other part yeah. of it is that it was like street food vendors, and I don't think they were the people from the town. No, they weren't. Because, case in point, I should have videoed this, but I didn't. I was embarrassed actually. So there was this woman. I looked on my phone. I figured out what I was going to say. I got on my Italian straight, <laughs> and I went over and talked to her. She was she had selling corn dogs. And I'm like, all right, well, this will be a fun conversation because corn dogs. I believe, were invented in Oregon. So I said, hey, I'm from Oregon, and that's where corn dogs were invented. And uh, I said, that's kind of cool, huh? And she's like, yeah, do you want one? Uh, 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 no. And they were like... Oh, they were like shriveled up hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> was, was, so we're being uh, mean now. But I'm I mean, sorry. they were trying to do a street... Sometimes, you know, they try... I, I don't know. It was not a street food festival. It was a bunch of vendors that obviously yeah. moved from town to town yeah. selling what they think street food should be but i mean it's tacos and burritos and the people with the potato chips <gasps> oh, were, those are so cool those were yes amazing they were really cool that was really good that was about the only thing that was really cool well you know the other thing we at that point we were hungry <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't want to eat any of this food and um there was a pizza margarita yeah there was a guy selling pizza it was not a margarita pizza. No. I mean, it, but it turned out okay because it was a New York style cheese pizza. It was good. It was pretty good. And the people there were great too. Really good. Yeah, yeah and so. I think they actually, maybe maybe they were from the town. 
Because yeah, because that was of, definitely local. It was local because everyone yeah. everyone was there. Yeah. At that one at that one place. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean it's like we've done other street food before this season. Yeah. And it was like the the pizza pizziolas. Pizzo, pizzola. Pizzola pizzas mm. that we did. Ooh, that was good. They were amazing and they were all local people. <clears throat> yep. And it was all local restaurants. Six local restaurants. So yeah. like there's a big difference. So when you're looking for festivals, yeah, you can maybe be picking too. We're, yeah, know. we just have to. We're, we're picking our way through. We're learning. We are learning. This yeah. has been a this is a learning year. Yeah. So right. anyway, 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 moving on. That wasn't great, but we did make some booze. We did. <laughs> we did. So you, you, you backtalk a little bit. Yeah, it's so, like we in our walnut tree right over there. Yep. Yeah, so we um, we've kind of like followed the tradition of harvesting the green walnuts to make nochino, and we did that on the twenty fifth of June mm -hmm. and then we kind of set it aside for 40 days like you were supposed to and then you mix it with you know what did you put did you put star anise oh, or vanilla no there was like there was vanilla there's cloves coffee lemon mm. I think that might be it I'm not I'm not sure you'd have yeah. to go back and look at the other video so the walnuts went in green and they came out <sighs> jet pitch black black yeah yeah it was and we cool. made some booze we did mm -hmm. okay so about 40 days ago, we harvested our green walnuts to make Nichino, and it's been sitting and marinating in 97 proof alcohol or 96 proof alcohol. And so today, um, after the 40 days, we're going to add some simple syrup to it. We're going to strain them, add simple syrup, and bottle them um, to be put away until Halloween. And then Halloween, it's good to go. So, so first step. It smells actually really good. Okay, we're gonna drain all this out, and we're old clothes because this apparently it just it it will dye everything black. Wow. All right. So yesterday I made some simple syrup, just simple sugar and water, and you make the sugar dissolve. And we're just going to add the two together. A couple of things that they that I read is to make sure that you don't do it in plastic because it will stain everything. Um, and so to make sure that you're just using just a metal or glass. And uh, there you go. Now we're gonna bottle it. So we brought these cool bottles back from France with us. We um, had a friend that was doing like a brocante and was getting rid of all of these old decanters, so we've saved them. So we're going to use them for our nochino. so cool <laughs> one other big festival that they have going on this weekend and we only went to the opening day of it we yeah. didn't it was a three three day event and it was medieval in, festival it was in Bukhari yeah. it was the media yeah. and the turnout from that from what I've seen on Facebook and everything it was incredible yeah, but was we good. went the first day for the drummers they mm -hmm. had eight drummers seven drummers seven drumming groups they had a lot of drumming groups and it was almost like they, I think they did it as a competition I don't know I think so um but it was that was fascinating. Oh, you're the drum drum expert. Well, no, I'm not the drum expert, but I really like them. I think it's so cool. Yeah. I don't know. There's something yeah. that rhythmic about it. I just I just I yeah. like them. I like one or two, but I mean like <laughs> eighteen is that? It wasn't eighteen. A lot of drummers. It was not. No, it was good though. It was, and I do, I think at the very end. 
they had the the group that was actually from Bukhari, I think, I'm not 100%, but I think it was an all-women's group. Oh, really? Yeah, it was really cool. That. Well, because I was, like, back taking photos, and it was, like, I'm looking, and all of a sudden it was, like, realized afterwards when I was looking through the, my camera, they were all women. Wow. I didn't see a single guy. Well, it was pretty cool, actually. I mean, we got there a little bit late, but the... All the drummers start at the church way up on a hill, and they come down a set of steps, and they go through town, through the plaza. Yep. And get a piazza. And the, yeah, piazza. And it was, it was good. I mean, we had fun. We did. We did. But it was like, you know... Yeah. A lot of drummers. A lot of drummers. Yeah. So we, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. Anyhow. Uh, what else we do? What else do? Oh, we went to, um, on our way back home, we stopped in in, uh, in Palazzolo Crady for the Alexis, Alexa, Alexis concert. Oh, yeah, that was good. Right? Yeah. So we can't, we can't, we're not, yeah. Did you put that in there? No, I'm not going to put, I didn't, no, I didn't put it in there because, okay. Okay, sorry. So. <laughs> No, we discovered that this revenue sharing on YouTube thing is if you use Oh, that's right. It's like it's a ripoff. Okay, yeah, maybe we Yeah, so anyhow, we didn't we saw Alexa. She was quite Alexa? Alexis. 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 She was pretty good actually. Alexia? She's kind of a ninety Alexia? I don't know. No, no. We'll put it on the screen. <laughs> so she was like a nineties pop star, had some pretty big hit singles. Oh, she, she had was a lot good. of energy. Yeah, she was really good. Yeah. Little Palazzolo and Crady, you know what I mean? It was, it was packed. Packed full of Absolutely people. Absolutely packed. So much fun. Yeah. So that, this was like so kind of ties into the the closing <laughs> ceremony of the San Sebastiano mm -hmm. um, event that yep. was a week long. Yep. So, we, we, and then we went back the next day Yeah. for the actual closing. Yeah, we did. And uh, so, you find out that Beth, uh, do we tell everyone that? I don't know. Well, she took a photo while she was at, while we were at the, at the, uh, the, the event on Saturday, and it got selected to be in the final 20 for the competition. Yeah. And so, um, Saturday night at 8 o'clock, which really meant like 9.30, they, the priest came out, he was thanking everybody for their participation, and then he announced the winners of the photo contest, and... ...the selection of the photographs to premiere the second regulament, visionate and accepted by the participants. I didn't want <laughs> But it was fun anyhow. Was I mean, fun. I mean, first... Price was 300 euros? Yeah, first price was 300, then 200, then 100, and it's yeah. a big prestigious event. Get a little more serious next year, honey. I haven't picked, I haven't taken oh, out my honey, camera honey, you gotta get to in work. over a year. So this is like the first time taking my camera out in a year. So it was, you know, it felt good. Yeah, it, felt, it was, it was good to see you out there with your camera. Yeah, again. it was good. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. So. so that was fun. And then um, after that, they had kind of like the, what you call it, the closing ceremony. Mm -hmm. They had, um, there was um you might remember from earlier videos, there was this little boy uh, yeah. a few weeks ago who was on a school trip and he fell down a well and he died. And it really... Oh, it devastated. Yeah. yeah, it devastated the town. Yeah, it was hard. Yeah. So they did a beautiful little tribute for him. Afterwards, after that, they had a light show, kind of another <laughs> pyrotechnics, <laughs> fireworks <laughs> thing. God, um, they're good at, they're really good at their pyrotechnics here. Apparently they won awards. Somebody, <laughs> really somebody good. had posted something on our, uh, the YouTube channel yeah. saying that, that Sicily is known for their mm. fireworks and they win awards for them. I can definitely see yeah, why. Me too. It's really it's good. Incredible. Other than that, we've just been kind of hanging out. Oh, God, we've, yeah, we uh, met a couple from Canada. Through YouTube. Through YouTube, Canada. Yeah, so, we met a lot of people through YouTube. That's about the best part of this, really. It's been fun, yeah. yeah. So we met a couple, Carmela and Lorena. Lorena? I'm, I'm sorry if I pronounced her name wrong. I'm so sorry. Lorena. 
I don't know. I know. I'm pretty sure that's how yeah. you say it. And I'm so sorry if I said it wrong. Um, but they were awesome. We had a great. We met them for coffee. We ended up staying for like I don't know three hours. Yeah, just we wanted to up. work our way into spritzes. We did. Yeah, <laughs> it was, was fun. fun. Yeah, really fun. God, it was just it, we just had a good time. Mm-hmm. It was just pretty chill. So. Yep. What else and, we do? Well, we went out for pizza. <clears throat> yeah, we went out. John and Diana, we had some pizza. It was good. That was really good. Yeah. yeah they know all the pizza places. They do, I swear there to God. Are so many pizza places here. I mean, we went to this one place, not this place, but we went to one place that was absolutely stunning outside of Giratana. Oh, was, that was the best. We were getting mozzarella, I mean, uh, margarita pizzas for three fifty, and they were good. Perfect. Absolutely. I mean, they were correct. Amazing. They had the leopard bottom, yeah. everything. I mean, it was I mean, just perfect. So they know their pizza. They do. Yeah, so, so that was fun. We're going to eat our way through Sicily with them, with them I yeah. think, doing pizzas. <laughs> <Yeah>. mm-hmm. <laughs> so then we, we've been sitting out here at nighttime. Then it's been nice and cool at night, which is cool, which has been nice. It's so relaxing. Th- there's <laughs> an announcement I need to make. <laughs> um, really? So Beth, she's been kind of feeling her oats lately about <clears throat> beating me in Azul. So what's record this week, honey? I can't remember. <laughs> Four zero. Huh? Who's your daddy? <laughs> So we we love hanging out here at night, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm off then, my game uh, this week. Yeah, so I'm off my game. you might remember that we lit up one of our olive trees uh, in the backyard here, and then we had a night where there was a uh, full moon. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes, yeah, so we kind of hung out and took photos. I wanted a zool, and then Beth <laughs> <laughs> licked my wounds. Yeah. She usually beats me. So this has been a lot of fun, actually. I had to switch up the games. Maybe cribbage this week. <laughs> yeah. mm, anyway. Well, maybe. I don't know. We, oh, God, just house stuff. Yeah, so this week, yeah, we've done a lot of work around the house. Yep. Plumbing, we have a new pump that we're trying to get installed. Um, we have electrical work. Electrical we have gardening work. stuff. We've been working on the inside of the walls. Walls, ceilings. Mm-hmm. We've got yep. a plan. I think we actually yep. have a plan Finally. for the inside. Mm-hmm. It's like organically come together, which well, is Sometimes nice. you have to live in a place for a while before it makes sense, right? <laughs> you have to live in chaos until you're like, okay, I can't do it anymore. Yeah, pretty much, probably. Yeah. <laughs> so it's almost done. So yeah, it's good enough. Yeah. So, but yeah, that was good. <clears throat> it was good. And I think the as August slowly winds down, I looked at the calendar and I think we have very few events. Your birthday's coming up, though. Yeah, we're going to Mount Etna. Yeah, that'll be whoop, fun. Whoop. So, mm-hmm. anyway. Yeah. But it was good. It was good. We yeah. had a great week. So. Great life here in Sicily, actually. Not always perfect, but, you know. Yeah. yeah. Most days. <laughs> Pretty good. Except when I lose. Yeah. I but the weather, that. too. I mean, a lot of... Hey, I want to mention really quickly that a lot of people talk about um, the drought here. Mm. And uh, it really... There are some places that are really affected here. We're not affected at all. No, and we, like the last two or three weeks, we've had at least a couple of days of rain. Oh, yeah, and it's going to rain the next two weeks. I saw like maybe six or seven days. Yeah. Like afternoon showers come by and it, it pees down. Rain. <laughs> no, and, uh, no, but it comes down, you know, kind of like Florida. Psh, yeah. And then it's done. Right. And so it's been okay. It has been okay. And, and I do... Like, the, I do think that one of the cool things is like recently there's been an article that just came out mm. talking about the fact that they have discovered massive aqueduct, a massive, massive aqueduct, twice the size of Loch Ness. Yeah. So that's going to help things out, and I don't know. So it's not all doom and gloom. Although there are always water problems here, and you know, yeah, uh, anyhow, climate change. But hey, anyway. that's it. That's it. No beach. We haven't been to the beach. Uh, I, I don't want to go to the beach because there's too many people right yeah, it's now. Yeah, it's true. It's August. We August have to wait. Is not so here so we we've been hiding yeah because this past week was definitely vacation week yeah. everybody was on vacation yep. so mm-hmm. we've been peeling back a little bit yeah. so that's it all, all right. right i think we're done now okay have a fabulous week yeah thanks for watching ciao ciao, ciao. <laughs>